There is a definite connection between thyroid issues and heart disease. And this morning, Dr. Shoba is here to discuss that connection and the prevalence of thyroid problems right here in our region. Dr. Shoba, thank you for being here. And we were talking off camera, there really is a prevalence of thyroid issues in our region. And t tell me more about that. Right. It's somehow it seems to be very common in mm -hmm. our um, in our area here. You know, I have clinics both in Elizabethton and Johnson City, and right. you know we see a lot of people with thyroid trouble in this area. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't know they have it. In fact, when they get sent to us for heart problems, right. I check for thyroid trouble because thyroid and heart disease are right. very very closely connected. And it's surprising in how many patients we find thyroid issues here. And when I was trying to do a little homework on this issue, it actually, thyroid issues can mask themselves as oh. heart disease. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, people commonly present, you know, with just feeling a little fatigued, a little mm -hmm. tired. Uh, it's hard to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Some people may have a little bit of swelling around the ankles. They may be having, experiencing some hair loss. Right. Uh, some people may have palpitations like their heart is racing or flying. Um, they have to push it their, themselves to do, uh, do things. And these are all actually signs of thyroid condition and a simple blood test can tell you if you have thyroid trouble or not. And you want to encourage folks, if oh, you were yes. just, uh, pre presenting with any of those symptoms, to right. make sure and get checked. Correct. And especially if you have a family history of thyroid trouble, right. you might want to get yourself tested. The thyroid is a small gland that sits here in our neck. Right. And you might actually see in some people that thyroid is enlarged. You see a little swelling in here. Aha, that could be sign of thyroid trouble. You know, you need to get tested. Some people will have goitrin. Some people it's more prominent. Right. But you'll just see a little swelling come on up here. And you may not have any swelling either mm -hmm. to have thyroid trouble. But it it affects every body part. Thyroid, is there anything we, what are some of the things that we can do to help have a healthier thyroid? Um, you know, a lot of our uh, salt now these days is iodized. Okay. In the past, that was an issue. Mm -hmm. But despite having iodized salt, we have a lot of thyroid trouble. Mm -hmm. And there are two types of thyroid issues, One, uh, or actually three types. One where your thyroid is not functioning normally, that is right. hypothyroidism. Right. One where it's overactive hyperthyroidism. And one in between where it kind of, sometimes it's normal, sometimes it's low, and sometimes it's high. You know, there's a condition called Hashimoto's. Uh, so you have all kinds of uh, thyroid trouble. Um, when you have hyperthyroid, you know, your heart can be really, you, you're feeling anxious all the time. People oh, keep wow. saying, oh, it's just an anxiety attack. It's a mm -hmm. panic attack. Well, guess what? You have hyperthyroidism. So it's not just all in your brain. Right. It's actually a medical condition. Um, uh, a TSH is a common blood work that we test. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in the blood work. But unfortunately, you know, people stop there. But you need to also test for T4 and T3 because you could have just low T3 mm -hmm. with normal TSH. And uh, it could be the cause of congestive heart failure. If you have heart trouble um, and you have thyroid condition, mm -hmm. your congestive heart failure is never going to get better unless you treat your underlying thyroid condition. Atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat right. is very closely associated with thyroid. Until you control your thyroid sometimes, the AFib does not get controlled. It just seems like your thyroid controls a lot of things that's Correct. going on in your body. Correct, correct. And you know, with the holidays coming up, you got to watch your chocolate. And you know, I saw all those delicacies oh, yeah. that you were just right. showing. And if you have thyroid trouble mm -hmm. and you get into a lot of caffeine or chocolate, you can actually experience more palpitations around the holidays. Ah, so watch that caffeine intake uh, and the chocolate and intake. And the chocolate intake. And uh -huh. One thing is, you know, people tend to stop taking their thyroid medicine once they start feeling better. Oh, right. my TSH is normal, right. so I don't need to take it anymore. Well, guess what? You'll, the thyroid will stop functioning once you stop taking the medicine. So please don't stop taking your medicine unless you talk to your uh, doctor. Right. And, you know, there is a condition these days that is called, you know, with your subclinical hypothyroidism. That means, you know, your numbers look good in the blood work. Right. but you're still feeling crappy and all, you have all the symptoms of thyroid trouble. Right. Unfortunately, you know, we do not have the power to give medicines to such people, but now studies are coming more and more handy where they're saying that people who have the subclinical hypothyroidism may also benefit from medications, but research okay. is ongoing in this area. All right, Dr. Shoba, thank you so much. Great thank information. You. I learned a lot today, and I hope you did too. And if you need more information, right there at the bottom of the screen is a great website and a number you can call to get all the information about everything that we talked about here today.